I'm Carson Beam, pitcher, first base, signing at Eastern Oklahoma State. Uh, my earliest memories of playing baseball are probably just playing t-ball or machine pitch with the other guys in my grade starting like pre-k and then going up and playing with those guys and eventually you know moving on to a little bit bigger team travel team and making it here and also it's you know surreal to be here after watching all these uh, all those guys in the 2010s that were so good here and being able to be a part of that culture now uh, Carson has meant everything to this program uh, from the time he stepped in as a freshman um, and competed on the mound in the state semifinals against Marlow uh, to his senior year where he has uh, grown to be um, uh, a great leader. Uh, kids on the team follow him. Uh, he's an extension of the coaching staff on, on and off the field. Uh, whenever he talks, everybody listens. Um, Carson's a guy that can go up there, hit for power, hit for average. Uh, might be one of the best first basemen I've ever coached. He knows where everybody's supposed to be, including himself. Um, and then before his injury, uh, he was uh, absolutely dominant on the mound, running it up there mid-80s, uh, could throw five, six innings, and you knew each and every time he'd go out there and compete and give his team his all. Um, it's been surreal uh, being a part of the Heritage Hall baseball team after watching all those guys when I was little growing up. Um, you know, my freshman year I came in here and I got to play a little bit, not a full-time starter, but I got to start a uh, decent amount of games and, you know, always set the standard for me and uh, me and Julius and some of the other seniors this year was to, you know, leave this place a better place than we found it. I think we've done a good job of that. And, you know, just being able to take over at kind of end of sophomore year, that leadership role started to transition to me, um, being a captain last year and this year and be able to lead these guys and turn it around, especially last year when you know a lot of people around the program and in the paper didn't think we were gonna uh, amount to very much. And we went to state and we're, we fell just short. So, you know, that was really an accomplished moment. And, you know, this year, just looking forward to, you know, breaking through and winning a state championship and, you know, helping all these guys around me continue to grow. Eastern Oklahoma State is getting a guy uh, that is gonna come in and make an immediate impact um, on the field with his leadership. Uh, with his work ethic um, on the field, he's a he's another coach. Um, the guy is a, great at his uh, position. At first, he's going to go in immediately, make an impact at the plate. Um, look for Carson to have a lot of power uh, off the field. Uh, academically, he excels well. Uh, he's one of the smarter kids I have ever coached, and uh, you're never going to have to worry about anything like that with Carson. Um, I chose Eastern Oklahoma State because at the end of last season, I tore my labrum and a lot of my other recruiting shut down. Uh, this summer, I actually made a Twitter post and got a lot of attention from college coaches. And their coach called me uh, the day I posted it and we talked on the phone for about an hour, um, set up a visit, went down there, and I, you know, I love the coaching staff. I really hit it off with them. Um, getting down there, they have a lot of, it's a great field. You know, not a big town obviously, but you know, it's a great field, great place to be. Um, they have a lot of technology you know, baseball technology that's advanced that can help me go to the next level. Absolute success program, top of junior college, and they send guys on to the next level, so it has me really excited to be able to continue. Um, at the plate, Carson, uh, for the past two years, is a 535 hitter, um, a guy that big, uh, with that much power. You would look and see if he struck out a lot. Uh, he only had three strikeouts his junior year. Um, he's a guy that has won our Charger Pride Award as well. Um, he's also won Defensive Player of the uh, Year Award. Uh, off, off the baseball field, Carson is a leader um, for our jungle, uh, which he gets a lot of students um, to tailgate, to come to the football games, basketball games, whatever it may be. Um, kids follow him and his leadership. I'd like to thank my family first and foremost. Um, you know, I might not always be the best about letting you guys know, but you guys have, are the reason I've been able to get here and I'm so thankful for that. And then also thank you to everybody that's ever coached me here at Heritage Hall, especially Coach X and Coach Seymour. You guys have been you know, paramount for my development um, and be able to help me get where I am. Um, and then I'd like to thank Mallory. You know, I've, been, I've suffered quite a bit of injuries and she's really helped me get through all that. Her and JT and then my outside PT, uh, Steve Carlin. So everybody, I'd like to thank all you guys. If I forget anybody, thank you guys as well. Carson, I wish you nothing but the best of luck. I was a JUCO guy. Um, and I know it's a grind, but if there's anybody uh, that's prepared for this moment um, and for the next two years, it's you. So proud of you. Can't wait to watch you succeed. Onward Chargers.